I believe that the best way to gain self-assessment is through the use of video. Uh, videotape yourself. We often have very inaccurate perceptions about ourselves. We tend to think that we're better than we really are in some ways. We tend to underestimate ourselves in other ways. Um, the video doesn't lie, okay? Film yourself going against other people and try to make assessments uh, uh, based on, on what you see in front of you. Um, listen to the opinions of some people who you trust, but also bear in mind that other people's opinions of you are often inaccurate too. So, um, uh, as I said, video is generally a better way to, to study yourself than your own perceptions of yourself or other people's perceptions. They also provide a very accurate historical reference so that a year from now you can watch yourself rolling under, uh, sparring under similar circumstances and you can compare the videos and give it a pretty accurate assessment. Are you making progress or not? Once you have that clear sense of assessment, who am I, what am I good at, what am I not good at, what do I need to, to improve, then you've got to start building a program which is designed to uh, improve your current strengths and radically improve your current weaknesses. Um, the two kinds of progress uh, you always want to be making are refinement of things you're already good at. Okay, you never want to be static at things you're, you're already good at. You always want to refine them, get better. Um, a good example of Hodger Gracie. Hodger was always very, very strong in cross collar strangles. But between 2003 and 2008, he got radically better at them. He was already good, but he wasn't satisfied with that and kept getting better until by 2008, it was almost an unstoppable te technique. Um, uh, the other thing is you've got to identify your weaknesses and do something about that. Um, what I will say is that you, guys in, in this generation of jiu-jitsu have something which uh, my generation of jiu-jitsu had to a very limited degree and previous generations didn't have it all. You live in an information age, okay? This is a remarkable time in human history where we have greater access to information than any generation previous to us by a landslide, okay? You can live in the North Pole far from anywhere and at any given moment, you can uh, uh, access information from the, the, the best world champions. You can go on Hodger Gracie's website and learn from the, the greatest Jiu-Jitsu athlete of his generation. Um, you can be living in the North Pole and watch ADCC Live and see the best athletes in the world competing against each other. Everyone has equal access to information. 